Okay, so one of my favorite people is Bruce Lee. Like, he is the man. I, I read about him sometimes, and I, I watch documentaries about him. And one of the, his, his concepts that he held dear was, like, the yin and yang and, and things like that. But he also said something about emotional content. And there's a scene in a movie where he's teaching a child how to throw a kick. And so he teaches the kid and the guy, he throws a kick the first time. He's like, no, you need emotional content. So he kicks again and the kid throws like a harder kick. And when I first seen that, I'm like, I, I mean, obviously the kid threw a harder kick. I get it. But I didn't really think too deeply into it, you know, so watch it as a kid. But now, like, like that was profound, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you need emotional content in your life. Um, another thing was, I also, I was watching a, an interview, not an interview, but just a video with a, a boxer. He was talking about how, like, street fighting is different. He's like, well, you, as somebody who doesn't box, like, if you get into a street fight, you probably get really, really mad, right? See, if I was to get into a street fight, I don't get mad. Like, I, I can't get mad. And it's just like I, I, I fight so much that I just can't I can't get mad. And that like put everything into perspective for me. I'm like, okay, so he's spending himself emotionally in the ring, like with these regular he's practicing, is he's sparring, and so when he's outside the ring he it's harder for him to get mad. And he was saying that's how he, he learned how to control his his anger, you know, and that was counterintuitive, but I've heard that from a lot of people who box, like, they, they're they less angry now, like, they, they control themselves a lot better, um, so that's what it is, and that's what people do when they are arguing with narcissists, you know, it's like being in a boxing ring, because they try to argue and fight you on every little thing, um, see, but the only thing is, is that we call them energy vampires, but there's distinctions between like the energy that you get from emotions or just your regular life force. Um, the energy and people call that energy. And then you have willpower, which isn't necessarily energy, but it's, it kind of controls how much, how you can use your energy. So all of that's related, but, uh, you need to understand the difference between, you know your emotions like feeling emotionally drained and just feeling like your energy has been drained um because like it's just it's one of those things where once you can understand that then you know what to do like you know what you you've been doing too much of which most of the time if you feel emotionally drained it's because you've been arguing all day or you've been fighting with somebody or you've been doing like too much you know you've been ruminating or something like that um, feeling emotionally drained will get you where you're, you know, you, you just don't feel like you can handle life. Like you feel overwhelmed because you're already like, it's like you, you're going through the motions because if you, if you can't emote, which that's the root, root uh, the root word of emotion, if you can't emote anymore because you've been fighting so much with, with your narcissist then you, you feel like you're just going through the motions, like you're just watching yourself live life. And that's closely related to like depression and, and things like that because what, what do people say most of the time when you interview or you talk to somebody about depression, they always say, or at least that's the uh, cliche, is that they, they felt like they were going just through the motions of life, you know? And, you know, obviously they're sad and things like that. So that's that's where where the root cause of it all is it's you know you're you being emotionally spent all the time and so you got to save that you got to save that just in general um if you're talking to a narcissist like don't yell at them even if you're angry like it's it's like one of those things where you can feel mad um one of the good things about like going gray rock is that you like if you're not putting out a lot of a lot of emotion right if you're not yelling at somebody 
they aren't getting much out of it. That's what they're getting out of it. The charge that they feel when you're yelling at them and they know that they're bothering you, whatever. The more emotion that you put into it. And it's basically like, it's just about being boring, right? But the flip side of that is that you're, you're saving your emotions. You're not wearing yourself out. Um, so, again, all right, so you got willpower, you got um, your emotions.